Good evening, Mr. Brandon. Unfortunately, my projector is not working, so I was not able to project my slideshow in my big screen. So I'll have to use my office uh, monitor at the moment, and I'll begin. My name is Danielle Reyes, and this is my slideshow on the African American History Tour Project. My project is on Oliver Hill. The address represents a memoir in honor of his great work as a civil rights lawyer located in North 3rd Street, Richmond, Virginia, 23219. Let's concentrate on the next live show, which is the early life of Oliver. Now notice I did not say Oliver Hill um, because I will be getting into how he got his last name. Um, now, Oliver White was born in Richmond, Virginia in May of 1907. After being abandoned by his biological father, Oliver adopted his stepfather's last name, Joseph Hill. So this is where we can begin to see um, transition of Oliver White to Oliver Hill. Tragedy birthed Oliver Hill's interest in civil rights, the death of his step-uncle, a lawyer whose books he inherited. So we come to find out that the more that Oliver Hill read his uncle's book, he came to understand the Supreme Court's constant role in the history of African-American rights. His determination to right these wrongs led him to Howard University. Now, before I go to the next slide, I want to share a couple of facts regarding this University of Oliver Hill attended, whose support of minorities have managed to introduce justice into the urban communities. A couple of facts on Howard University, beautiful campus. That's located in Washington, DC. It's the oldest law school in the country. Third bullet point is the oldest historically black college. Now on this next live show, we're gonna focus on some life-changing events Oliver experienced while attending Howard University. Slideshow reads, while attending Howard University, he met Thurgood Marshall, who's notable for his victory in the Brown versus Board of Education case that ended racial segregation in public schools. And so in this group photo, I wanted to point out these two powerful gentlemen. Oliver Hill on the left, Thurgood Marshall, on the right. Then the next live show, we will see how Thurgood Marshall helped Oliver's Hill career to take off. Post Howard University. Slide show reads, after graduating Howard University, Hill and Marshall launched a case in the federal district court arguing that the Norfolk School Board discriminated against African-American teachers. Um, so in other words, African-American teachers were not even earning half of what the white teachers were. We can see here how that is against the Constitution. Now, fortunately, the previous slide show, that case is called Austin versus School Board of City of Norfolk. Um, and this provided Hill with his first federal court victory, but also established him as the lead NAACP lawyer in Virginia. Now let's take a look at Oliver's Hill's key moment. David versus County School Board of Prince Edward. 
This case was one of the five suits that was consolidated into the monumental Supreme Court case previously discussed, Brown versus Board of Education. Now, Oliver Hale was the lead lawyer in the Davis versus County School Board of Prince Edward case. So his representation in the Brown versus Board um, was a monumental case for him. Can take a look at the opposed party. And the gentleman that made it all happen. Thank you so much for watching. This was my slideshow on Oliver Hale's life. I hope you enjoyed it and took some facts away as well that you may have not known about him previously.